Today we celebrate the second annual Lou Gehrig Day in memory of his battle with ALS. As you see, players and managers alike all over the league wearing the End ALS for Lou t-shirts as we are now. This day holds a very special place in Boog Shambi's heart and he joins us this morning on MLB Central. Boog, good morning to you. We are wearing our shirts as are you. You are the best. This is not something, and we talk about this whenever we see you, this is not something you give money to. This is your life's work. Tell us and update us on the amazing work you're doing. Well, I, you know, my connection to to ALS is uh, I lost my friend Tim Sheehy, who I don't since I was seven years old. We grew up in New York City together. He was diagnosed in 2005. We lost him in 2007. And, um, you know, that's my personal connection with it. And so since 2006, when we started Project Main Street, which is the street where we live, we, we uh, Tim designed our charter and we helped people who were being crushed by the financial burden of ALS as well. I just to say, I you know, I'm down to advocate in any space to raise money for research. MLB is uh, working with the Healy Center at Mass General and uh, Dr. Merit Sakovich. She's amazing. So, um, you know, our specific charity is to help people who are living with the disease, because the point I always you know, want to remember is, look, there are people living with it and, and they do need help. But, you know, the sad part is uh, Lou Gehrig died. 81 years ago today, and if he was diagnosed today, his prognosis would be exactly the same. It's mm, pretty amazing wow. when you think about yeah. from the standpoint of all the technological advances that we've made in so many areas, but in this the area of this disease, we haven't. Boog, that was going to be my question, and I have two for you. One, where are we in this fight against this disease? And two, for people that just hear the name Lou Gehrig's disease or the or the or the abbreviation ALS for those that aren't really familiar explain just how evil this disease is yeah so I mean there's been there there are multiple types the, the main type is called sporadic ALS there is some type there's familial ALS uh Chris Snow uh if you guys know who, who's an assistant general manager of the Calgary mm -hmm. Flames has that and he's lost a number of members of his family to it in that area however he's been taking a drug you know most of the people that uh in his family when they were diagnosed they, they passed very quickly and Chris has really been able to stem the tide and and prolong uh his life and and slow down the effects but in you know I don't want to say standard, but in sporadic ALS, there really has not been a ton of progress. As far as what the disease is, it's a neurological disease. You know, effectively, you know, the way that I'm speaking to you is my brain is sending a message, um, you know, to my mouth to, you know, to basically execute the words. The right. way I'm moving my finger is that my brain sends a message and slowly those pathways get shut down. Mm. And so the awful thing about the disease is you slowly lose function of mobility, finger, hand, arm, leg, and your brain is fine the entire time. And mm. what eventually takes your life is the inability to breathe. Oh. And for so many people, the, the choice that ultimately is made is, do I want a feeding tube because I can't swallow anymore? So it's, it's pretty horrific. And, mm. um, you know, I just, my, my thing for today and what I appreciate about you guys wearing the shirts, I'm so overwhelmed by gosh, all the managers and, and players that have done it. I just want some awareness. I think there are a lot of people that did the ice bucket challenge that may have been oblivious then. Um, but just to know that this disease is unbeaten. It, it's a hundred percent fatal. So just if we can get, if there are a few people in the ballpark that when they see these shirts or watch this show and somebody turns to somebody and says, Hey, what's ALS? We're, we're, we're moving the needle a little bit. That's how far we have to go. Boog, I just want to jump in because I, I've been into the city to, to your events, me, D. Lee, yeah. David Ross, a bunch of guys. I know you don't want to pat yourself on the back for, for this, but have you had a moment to kind of look around and see the impact, the relationships that you've built, all the teams, every team, the managers, the players, they, they, they wear this shirt obviously for a great cause, but they wear it because of, of you and what you represent. Have you had the time to like take a step back and say, wow, I've really carved out a nice little niche in this game where I could reach out to these players and these managers to kind of get my message out there? Um, it's nice of you to say that. I, it's, I guess in taking it right now, you, like I, I 
I'm getting a little emotional. I think, I guess this is the way that I look at it. When you're in this space, you have to ask people for help and that's not easy. And so to sit in front of someone and say, Hey, I need your help. Would you help me? Um, and be vulnerable in that way is not the most comfortable thing. And with that said, I'm so grateful. I view it, uh, d -Roy, I view it about all the people I've connected with, not about me, you know? So, so that Derek Lee for three straight years flew across country on his own dime, stayed in New York city to come support the cause. I think of that as being about Derek Lee. When I, ask Tony LaRusso or Joe Girardi or Dave Roberts or Craig Council or Rocco Baldelli. Hey, I'm going to send you some shirts. Bob Melvin, would you wear this and take a picture? Yes, I'll help you. I'm pleased to help you. Um, I, I just look, here's the other thing, not to be corny, but take it away from ALS. You guys like just st step back. And I really do believe this. Nobody does it without help. Nobody does anything without help. We all need help. No one can do it alone. We can't. We just, we need each other. We got it. So that I, I'm just so, I, I was so overwhelmed by, by like when I see the pictures still, you know, they're with all the colors and people willing to help. It just, it really, uh, I'm super grateful. And yeah, I, I also get to think about my friend today and I miss him, but I, it, it's, it's a reason for me every June 2nd, I get a chance to think about Tim and smile. Nobody does anything without help. What a wonderful message. How can we further help you, Boog? I mean, you've had so many people bid on things over the years. I remember it was you and David Ross. I think it was dinner in the outfield on the north side. Yeah. Was that it? <laughs> Tell us. Yeah. Yeah. So we so and we're actually we, we, we have that that dinner coming up. There's a great auction um, on the, the Cubs website with all sorts of cool items. If you'd like to help for research, uh, the Healy Center is a place to donate money. Again, Project Main Street, your money dollar for dollar will go to help people um, to, that will help people uh, living with the disease. That's that's the, the bottom line. So you can go to projectmainstreet.org. We also have the T-shirts you guys are wearing with a simple message, ALS. Project Main Street's motto is until there's a cure, there's care. So it's hashtag care until a cure on your shirts. And I just think the message and ALS for Lou, um, those are available at obvious shirts and on my Twitter page. So again, I, I really appreciate you guys having me. And it's a good shirt. Nice cotton it's, of polyester it, blend. It, it, it's, it's, nice well it's well <laughs> made. It's well made. If it's going to shrink it. first time, I'm That's out, right. right? That's right. This, this, is, this, a this is a well constructed yes, shirt. It is. Congratulations it's polyester on that. Blend for you. Hey, Boog, we got to get one Cubs question here for you. Got the win yesterday. Where are we on, on the Cubs? It's seemingly a, a franchise and a little bit of a transition. Yeah, but I think what you're sitting there, you know, the, the part for me every night I, I go and, and the excitement is, you know, Keegan stop, Thompson starts tonight. I don't know whether he's a starter. I don't know if he's a reliever, but he's taking down outs, and that's fun to see. So it's like, okay, this is a, a piece that is establishing serious value. Christopher Morell, the energy has been incredible. You know, his love language is touch. He's hugging everybody, touching everybody. He had the, the winning hit. Nico Horner. You knew he could defend. I think people wondered if he could de defend it short. I would say he's answered that question and he's hit. Um, Ian Happ's played really good defense. Obviously, say a Suzuki when he's healthy, I still think is going to be a really big part of the future. So, you know, look, it's it's a special fan base. You're still I still have moments almost every night where the crowd is involved in a way where they're just excited. And I think it makes the, the fan base unique, whether the team is, yeah. you know, bidding for the world title or, or not. That's Boog Shambi, voice of the Chicago Cubs and doing some great work to great work. end this, uh, this dastardly disease. Be sure to uh, check out the website and uh, be sure to help if you can. Boog, great stuff as always, man. Enjoy the day and thanks for joining us. Thanks, you guys.